गाइज माई नेम इज अंकुश कौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एन एनोटेशन विद द नेम रेस्ट कंट्रोलर विच हेल्प्स अस इम्प्रूविंग द रीडेबिलिटी ऑफ योर रेस्ट ए पी आई स्प्रिंग एम बी सी प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट गाइज सो फॉर इन द रेस्ट सीरीज वॉट वी हैव लर्न वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू डिजाइन एंड डेवलप these two rest apis for this rest api we included this rest api controller method in the student admission controller.java class and for this rest api we included this rest api controller method in the student admission controller.java class so now when i make a get request using this rest api the response is going to be produced and sent by this rest api controller method and when i specify name of a specific student within the rest api itself and make a get request using you know such a rest api the response is going to be produced and uh, sent by this rest api controller method and whatever i've just described in a very brief manner i explain in detail till the last tutorial now let's proceed further and try to learn in this tutorial how rest controller annotation helps us improving the readability of a spring mvc rest api project so let's start guys everything is perfect with student admission controller dot java class except one point which is bothering me a lot which is making me a little uncomfortable as a developer and the point is here we have mixed two kind of controller methods in one controller class one kind of controller methods which are annotated with response body annotation means these controller methods are associated with rest api concept and the other kind of controller methods which are non response body annotated controller methods means these controller methods are not associated with rest api concept so if you are going to mix these kind of controller methods in one controller class in a single controller class then you are going to create a lot of uh, confusion for developers who are going to work on such kind of projects because for developers it becomes very challenging you know kind of become very difficult to manage controller classes having mix of uh, these kind of controller methods it is always advisable to separate them out in separate controller classes so what you should do you should maintain a separate controller class for all uh, response body annotated controller methods and you should maintain separate controller classes which have non response body annotated controller methods that way you are definitely going to improve the readability of uh, the controller classes in your spring mvc project so let's uh, improve the readability of uh, this controller class as well by including or by moving these two response body annotated controller methods in a separate controller class so here let me include a new controller class with the name student info rest api controller because this is a controller class so i would annotate it, it with the controller annotation now let us move these rest api controller methods from student admission controller dot java class to this newly created class student info rest api controller cool so with this change what have we gained well nothing much we have just improved the readability of uh, this spring mvc project so after this change now when i'm going to make a get request using this rest api 
the response is going to be produced and uh, sent by this rest api controller method which earlier was placed in student admission controller dot java class and when i make a get request using this rest api the response is going to be produced and sent by this rest api controller method which was earlier placed in student admission controller dot java class so what you have to do in your spring mvc project you have to always think that uh, whatever rest api related controller methods you have to write always maintain separate controller classes for the same and whatever non rest api controller methods you have to include in your spring mvc project for them always try to maintain separate controller classes that way you are definitely going to improve the readability aspect of your spring mvc project now spring mvc framework says hey developers if you have decided that you are going to maintain a separate controller class for all response body annotated controller methods then you can do one more thing in this in such a controller class which is further going to improve the readability so what spring framework suggests it suggests for such kind of controller class which are only going to contain response body annotated controller methods use rest controller annotation instead of controller annotation and what purpose it serves to us let's try to learn but before that let's make a change here controller to rest controller annotation now let's try to understand what advantage it offers over controller annotation because if you make use of rest controller annotation on top of any java class it just indicates spring framework that whatever methods you have included inside such a controller class all such controller methods are basically related to rest api so for any of the methods which you are going to include in such a controller class you are not required to explicitly specify response body annotation at the top so you can delete response body annotation which we earlier specified at the top of each controller method in this controller class so you have two choices you make use of rest controller and in that case uh, you can avoid writing response body annotation at the top of each controller method in such a controller class or you can make use of controller annotation but in that case you would need to explicitly specify over each controller method whether that is a uh, related to rest api concept or not so it's one of the same thing you make use of controller annotation then specify response body annotation you know uh, individually you know at the top of each controller method residing in such a controller class or you make use of rest controller and uh, avoid writing response body annotation at the top of each controller method at an individual level so this is the purpose what uh, rest controller annotation serves because in this tutorial i explained how to make use of rest controller annotation to improve the readability of a spring mvc rest api project and we haven't understood any new concept an out of the box concept we didn't understand any such concept it's just about readability and nothing more than that in the next tutorial we are going to talk about postman which is a, a widely accepted testing tool you know to test rest apis all right guys a big thank you for learning rest api concepts using spring mvc framework with me if you have any feedback or any constructive comment please provide them below the video or simply write to me using this email id please hit the like button if you really like this video and do not forget 
to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Gone to Series. And I'm going to catch you in the next part of this tutorial.